Welcome to another epic adventure at Weaver Stone House Farms and in a garage too today. So hopefully we're gonna fix Chevy Express 3500 blower motor finally. Um, what, what's what been going on with this? We've been buying, we bought a couple of these Dorman uh, blower motor resistors off of Amazon. You can see 973, 407. Uh, they're cheap. Fan on, right here. So we lost the speed. We lost high speed, okay? Lows there. I shuts off. Okay, that's a problem. So I had one in since the summer, but it blew again. Um, and I'd previously put this one in, so I'll show part of that throughout this video. Cut and put it in because uh, I had to rewire it. So because they give you a kit with it to wire up, um, and the reason they give you that kit is the terminals. So on if you're over amping. On the blower you're gonna melt the terminals which I did I thought I ah, will try it without it well it didn't work <clears throat> here we are so the blower was a you hey there's the problem that's why they send you that new plug Shazam all right Okay, so what I did, decided to do, since this wasn't salvageable, I couldn't get it out. You can see it's it's burnt through pretty bad there. Um, since they do thankfully include the new plug, that's why you gotta love Dorman. Um, I left this in there, and we're gonna go ahead and then wire that into place. Utilize the plug that they send you, which is, well, why they send you the plug, right? So then I went through, put them all in. Um, I gotta go ahead and heat up this stuff first, the shriek shrink um, that I put around the uh, connectors. These I'll just black tape because I didn't have ones that were big enough. Go on Amazon and this is a, it says boxy. Uh, the item number, you can see it right there. It's just gathering the little tools that you never use. I put a note on here. We've had it apart so many times. 730 seconds. These tiny little bolts are 730 seconds. These are 730 seconds. Um, for taking the antifreeze uh, reservoir out, that's a 10 millimeter. And it just slips into these, so it's pretty straightforward. So what we'll do is we'll take these out of here. Let's see what that takes. Oh, that didn't take nothing at all. Okay, that just popped off right there. Oh, there's a retainer. Okay. That's what that is. So let's see if we can get... Oh, come on. Seriously? So that's out. That can come out. Hooray! Looks pretty close. Plug looks close. Drain's in the right spot. Hey, might have a winner. onto here it'll work to get in um, but that's okay if it's not you had to work the rubber in and squish it on itself okay so put this back up in all right I had a little rubber insulator it was up against yep there's two little rubber insulators so there's one there See it? There's one there it sits in, and there's one down here underneath it too, and it looks identical to this. <laughs> Just snug, because you're into plastic. You go too much, you're going to strip them, and it's not going to be fun. Because then you're going to be like, hey, now how can I put it in there? You're going to be down to sheet metal screws. Here. So then we just pop this off. 
Now I've done this previously where these are, I have this all crimped up with, um, cut it all off and with crimps. Let's look on the inside of this. Okay, this one's not overheated, so we're sitting okay. Seconds. And sometimes you'll see a burn mark on these, sometimes you won't. So, so I had touched this area where the resistors are, where they're coated in that like epoxy type stuff. After I pulled it out, I burnt this thumb. So be careful, that's, that's hot. And if you're gonna rewire this, this section, you're gonna put this plug in because you're, you don't have this or you need this, turn the power off so you don't fry something. The battery is literally right here, so unhook your negative on your battery. Okay, just goes in like that. Only fits one way. noticed with this the the original wire was supposed to go up here come through here and then clip in y you can it's it's super tight though might be able to make it yeah it did and that's supposed to be a shrink almost they put over top of it so it can rub on there perfect <laughs> that's in place this is in place okay in, 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 in. All right, let's go farther in them. See if that lower motor works. So those parts from Amazon uh, saved us a bunch of money. Um, not that hard to tear into this, so. Final look here, and then we'll go ahead and reinstall the, the last piece of this. And literally in those two slots, get it lined up in the hole. I uh, elongated my hole. A little bit to make it easier. This do not make tight. Hey, it's you. How are you? Let's give it a snug up. Here, hold that a second. You don't want to break the plastic, so that's why you're trying to just snug it. That's it. Okay, so then I'll go ahead. I can see I need a little bit of antifreeze, so I'll get it to the cold fill level, but that's it. And the blower motor now works. Um, the resistor's good, so we're good. So thanks for following along. We'll see you next time on the farm, and I'll put the links in the description over to Amazon if you want to pick these up too. So thank you. Why is that smoking?